Hello guys, I've made the list of the top 5 best tactical boots 2022, that are available on the market, I made this list based on my research, if you would like to see additional information and updated prices, be sure to check out the description below and subscribe to get more reviews. Ok, let's get started with the video. Number 5 as evidenced by the Bates GX8, tactical bootmakers haven't left the Coast Guard high and dry. Thanks to relaxed USCG boot regulations, compared to the rest of the military, the GX8 offers Coasties a boot equipped with a YKK zipper and an ASTM F2413-11 rated composite toe, turning these tactical boots into convenient, lightweight kicks that any operator would want to rock. At under £3 per pair, these boots are incredibly lightweight for a safety toe boot. These waterproof boots are built with full grain leather and ballistic nylon and boast a breathable Gore-Tex lining for improved cooling. The proprietary Bates outsoles provide decent traction off the pavement but excel on the wet and oily surfaces commonly found in maritime environments. Unfortunately, the GX8 can be a little pricey, and they lack insulation, a must-have for some coasties. Some users reported the occasional quality control issue, but that mostly seems to be a relic of the past. All in all, these boots are a good option for Coast Guard operators, both at home and abroad. Number 4 Looking for a lightweight, Navy-approved tactical boot, then pick up the Oakley SI Light Assault 2 Pronto. These tactical boots are built for speed and mobility yet provide enough protection and support to get the job done. Weighing in at a mere 1.75 pounds per pair, these Oakley boots are the lightest approved by the Navy. While not approved for shipboard use, these tactical boots can handle all but the longest stays in the field and are more than capable of handling shore duty. While most operators tend to prefer boots in Coyote, these leather and corduroy nylon boots also come in black to maximize comfort in and out of the field. While definitely comfortable in higher temperatures, we have it on good authority, thanks. Dan K. Wood, that a light assault 2 is more than capable of handling winters in Virginia Beach despite their non-waterproof nature. Best of all, they require little to no maintenance, and these boots earn a glowing review from real-world sailors. So then, what are you waiting for? Number 3 A vast array of boots qualifies AR671 compliant, but our favorite of them all is the Garmont T8 Bifida. This boot packs in plenty of performance while also providing a sharp look day in and day out. The T8 Bifida consists of a split grain and 609 Allen upper attached to a hiking specific Vibram Bifida outsole. The breathable polyurethane foot boot features Garmont's unique heel locking cup and sits over top a shock absorbing EVA insole. The entire boot features plenty of double stitching to reinforce known weak points. Put it all together, and the final result is a breathable boot with a durable build plenty of flexibility, and reliable support. The T8 Bifida conforms to AR670-1 as well as USAF and USSF uniform standards and comes in both regular and wide sizes, making it an ideal option for virtually any Solga, or Airman or Guardian. The only real downside to this boot is its lack of padding and insulation for colder climates. Still, the Garmont T8 Bifida qualifies as Army Strong. Number 2 Rocky S2V Predator is made from a mix of leather and 1000D Cordura nylon. If you are not familiar with textile fabrics, 1000D Cordura resists tears, abrasions, and scuffs better than any other fabric of its kind. It's the toughest nylon on the market, reinforced by triple stitching everywhere. The fabric of the boots is PTFE coated for flame resistance. Rocky S2 Versus are approved for wear with all applicable lock variations and XR TAA compliant. S2V is Rocky's S2V sieve technology. It's the drainage holes you can see on the sides of the boot. They increase water dispersal and breathability by 300% compared to other boots. The sieve system is built to circulate air in and push water out. This allows you to walk the boots dry quickly. This baby comes with Vibram soles. If you are not familiar with Vibram soles, they are the best rubber out sole you can get. A benchmark of quality that most high-end boots come with. The slip-resistant soles are also resistant to abrasions and oils. Despite the boot's size, 
The sole also provides decent shock absorption due to its design. Since all boot models in this list are built to take a beating, it's difficult calling any one of them the most durable tactical boot. But if we had to rank them, then the Rocky S2V Predator would be at the top of the list. Finally, Rocky S2V is probably the one of the best looking tactical boots on our list. There are boots that look good, and then there are boots that perform. Rocky S2V manages to do both. There is something cool about. Number 1 the Garmont T8 NFS is an 8-inch field boot designed to conquer the Mojave Desert, the Hindu Kush, and everywhere in between without dragging you down. The T8 NFS provides a rare combination of speed, traction, and durability in a single boot. While not quite on par with heavier-duty boots, these Garmonts are still tough and durable, especially compared to other lightweight options. These boots feature a suede and 600D nylon upper with nylon webbing reinforcement paired with a surprisingly grippy outsole equipped with lugs that multiple reviewers describe as cleat-like. The reinforced Texan grid canvas lining and polyurethane foot promote excellent cooling, breathability, and fast drying times, yet these boots can handle the cold as well as the heat. While the NFS outsole does very well on uneven surfaces, it's a little more prone to slipping on smoother surfaces than other boots due to less boot-to-ground surface area. These boots also may rub against your heels during the break-in period, but once they are broken in, the Garmont T8 NFS is a very comfortable boot. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped you. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like comments and subscribe so you don't miss anything. We'll see you next time.